Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have my Newt's Readathon and August TBR. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, the Newt's Readathon is a Harry Potter themed readathon based on the nastily exhausting wizarding, wizarding tests and it is hosted by G over at Book Roast. To take part, you have to have taken part in the Owls Readathon in April, I believe. And if you didn't, then people had the opportunity to participate in that readathon throughout the month of July in preparation. I really love this readathon because it's a month long. The challenges are really interesting and it's also going to be annual, which I'm really excited about. So the elves that I completed in April were astronomy, transfiguration, potions, care of magical creatures, arithmancy, herbology, and divination. Now for the newts, there are three challenges for each subject and they represent the levels, I think, a pass, exceeding expectations and outstanding. Now I can't read 21 books in a month so I've narrowed it down to four key subjects that I'm going to try and achieve an outstanding in. And these subjects will be arithmancy, potions, care of magical creatures and transfiguration. If I do happen to read all of these books then I will then continue on with either divination or astronomy but I think that's reaching a bit so I won't be giving you any books that I would be reading for those challenges. You guys want to see more reading vlogs from me and so there is a possibility that I may vlog for the whole month of this readathon in preparation for reading vlogs that I am wanting to introduce in 2019. However, I am definitely vlogging the Booktubeathon, so I'm going to see how that goes and if I find it manageable and I can get the videos up along with other content, then I will vlog the readathon for you guys. As Booktubeathon does seep into the newts a little bit, I've managed to include five of the books from my Booktubeathon TBR into the newts challenges. However, they don't all represent the first challenge of each subject, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete Booktubeathon and for example if I've completed a book that is a exceeding expectations in care of magical without completing the book that is a pass I'm then going to go along and fill in the gaps as my priority for the start of the readathon. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the books I picked out for each challenge that I want to complete and I'm going to go in order of subject that I would rather pass first. So first up we have Care of Magical Creatures and the first challenge for this is to read a book with an animal on the cover and for that I'm going to be reading The Beast Player by Nohoku Yuihashi this is a young adult fantasy series translated from Japanese and I've not heard anybody talk about it. I found this in Waterstones and the wolf just like immediately pulled me in. It was released in March this year and at the time the Goodreads reviews were really good. I haven't been back and checked recently but I'm surprised that I've seen nobody reading this. So I'm going to be reading this and I will be trying to do a review because I know you guys said you wanted to see more reviews as well and also a book diary as it is a 2018 release. But this is about a girl whose family have been charged with taking care of these giant serpents and other magical creatures and when some of the magical creatures start to die her mother is sentenced to death and then sends her away and while she is away she discovers more of her animal talking powers and I'm guessing that is involved in a larger plot. Really excited about the premise of this, absolutely love the cover and I'm hoping it's as good as I think it's going to be. Next is to read a book under 160 pages and for that I'm going to be reading Rat Queens which is the first in a graphic novel series, this is the first volume. I find it really fitting because it has a dragon on the cover and it's called Rat Queen so like animals everywhere and this is about some battle maidens for hire that have gotten into trouble one too many times and for that they have to sort of do like community service and they really don't want to. The outstanding challenge is to read a book that contains dragons in any way and for that I will be reading The Last Nansara by Kristen Cicerelli. I love this cover and I've been wanting to read this book for ages. I'm glad that I can finally get to it in August because Care of Magical Creatures is going to be my first priority subject and this is about a girl called Asha and she is an Iskari, which is a dragon slayer. The next subject I'm going to be focusing on is potions, and the first challenge for potions is to read a book with a colour in the title, and I have gone with The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, with hazel being the colour. And this is a book about a girl whose grandmother wrote fairy tales. Her mother goes missing and it is assumed that she has been sucked into this fairy tale world, and the girl goes to rescue her. I have not heard very good things about this book, People have said that they liked the first half and didn't like the second so I'm interested to see what I think about it because the concept does sound really good. The next challenge is to read a book with a male lead character and for that I will be reading the third book in the Slam series by Colin Hoover which I believe is called That Girl. I've read the synopsis and it leads me to believe that it's from Will's point of view in which case it will fit this challenge perfectly. 
If not, it will still be about Lycan and Will and Will had the point of view in the second book. So he is still a main protagonist. And for those of you that don't know, this is a problematic new adult book that heavily features slam poetry. The third challenge is to read a book over 350 pages. And for this, I'm going to be reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, providing that my library reservation comes in. This is about a Hollywood starlet who hires a lesser known journalist to write her memoir and she starts to uncover the secrets of this starlet's past and I believe from then on it is written more like a memoir. I've heard excellent things about this. If this does not come in from my library I will just replace it with another book under 350 pages because I have plenty to choose from. Then I will be moving on to Transfiguration, the first challenge of which is to read a book with a grey cover. For this one I will be reading Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass, which is the next book in the Throne of Glass read-along that I'm hosting in anticipation for the release of Kingdom of Ash in October. This is the fifth book in the core series of Throne of Glass so I can't really tell you too much about it. Don't let the size fool you, it has bible pages, it's like 700 and something pages long but this one is the only special edition that I have and it's the Barnes and Noble one. I picked it up when I went to Florida. As far as I remember this is my favourite book in the series so I'm really excited to dive back into this. I'm just finishing up Queen of Shadows now and I am loving where the story is heading. Next is to read a book by an author you haven't read from before and for that I have Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This is the first book in the Southern Reach trilogy and this is about a place called Area X where the government has sent people to go and research time and time again but something always happens to the crew that they send and so another crew goes in because that's what you do when everyone goes missing time and time again. You just send more and more people in and I'm guessing grisly terrible things happen to them. The last transfiguration challenge is to read a book that features a kingdom or royalty and for that I have Furyborn by Claire Legrand. I will also do a book diary for this one as it's a 2018 release. I don't know a lot about the plot of this but I know it features two queens that are separated by 500 years and they are tied together by a prophecy. I heard great things when the arc of this was featured in Illumicrate so I'm really excited to read it and I'm kind of annoyed I haven't got to it yet but regardless this book sounds right up my alley and I'm excited to dive in. The last subject I'm going to be focusing on is arithmancy and this is for the books that I kind of have to read because they're continuations in series that I've already started so it's like my required reading subject which makes sense because it's arithmancy which is essentially maths and... and maths is kind of dull. So the first challenge is to read a book that is at least 300 pages and for this I'm reading Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton. This is the third book in the Rebel of the Sands trilogy. I really 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 loved the second book so I'm super excited to read this which is why I've put it for the as the first challenge for arithmetic so that if I can only get to one book in this category it's going to be this one. I can't tell you much about this book as it is the third book but the Rebel of the Sands trilogy is a desert fantasy that contains really great mythology and genies and it's so atmospheric and like rich in culture and I really love the series so far. The next challenge is to read a book that ends on an even number page and for this I'm reading The Giver by Lois Lowry. This is a utopian where one person holds all of the knowledge for the community and our main character has been chosen to be a receiver and he will be the person who receives all of the knowledge from the giver and is entrusted with keeping that safe so that he can take over when I guess when the giver dies. I've heard great things about this. The reason that it's in here is because it's a book I picked for Tubathon, but I am super hyped to read it and it's kind of short, so I should definitely get to this one anyway because it's on my book Tubathon TBR. And then finally, to read a book that is not first in a series, I have Forever by Maggie Stevarta. This is I believe it's the last book in the Wolves of Mercy Fall trilogy but I do know there is a 3.5 book that I will be reading probably in September. I've been enjoying Maggie Steve Arter's writing throughout this series however the plot isn't great but I am going to wrap up this series in the coming months as these are also the books that I'm reading to complete my 2018 goal to read the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. This is like a paranormal romance surrounding werewolves, that's really all the plot that there is, not gonna lie and I couldn't tell you much about it anyway with it being the final book in the trilogy. But that is everything for my notes TBR. Please let me know if you are taking part and what you are reading, which subjects you are focusing on. Please also don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you head into my description box, you'll find a link to my Goodreads, Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those, as well as a link to my Bookish Body Butter and Candle website, the Instagram for that and a 10% off discount code. But that's it from me today. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you will go where nobody knows With guns hidden under our petticoats We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no